I have to say in the 10 years I've been working with Enable, this is one of the biggest releases we've come so far. Welcome everybody, my name is Jason. I am one of the head nerds here at Enable, primarily for and central. In today's video, I'd like to talk to you about a few things, primarily around what is coming in 23.7. This particular release is jam packed with a, a ton of stuff. I have to say in the 10 years I've been working with Enable, this is one of the biggest releases we've come so far. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about is Intune. So as you know, when you want to patch uh, Microsoft devices with Intune, oftentimes you're not able to use our third party patch manager to be able to do that. Uh, in 23.7, you are going to be able to choose between the Windows patch manager in N Central or Intune or both. You can complement both. Um, and also choose to patch uh, the applications on that device using our third-party patch manager. As well, we have made some additional changes to the backup, enable backup. Cove data protection gets its rightful place in Ed Central. So we are now bringing that in. We're making a number of changes to enhance that integration over the coming months ahead. One thing I will tell you is if you're not used Cove data protection today, please click the link below and you can try that out. In this particular release as well, we have included an important bug fix um, concerning uh, if your users um, or yourself were permissioned so that um, you do not have administrative access to all things in N Central, there was a slightly annoying pop-up that would be presented um, through our role-based access permissions. Um, that has now been modified so that it is not as in your face or can be just now dismissed. But we also have to talk about the elephant in this particular build, which is Device Manager for Apple. We have brought a ton of stuff for yes. Device Manager for Apple in N Central in 23.7. So let me go through what some of those changes are. In this particular build, we will be obviously including the ability to not only do Mac OS, but iOS and iPad OS as well. In future builds, you're gonna be able to do Apple TV as well. One thing I will also announce at this point is that we will be deprecating the legacy MDM component within N Central as well. So we'll be putting all of our efforts into Device Manager for Apple as we go through in the months ahead. Uh, another exciting feature is who hasn't wanted to push apps to those Apple devices? Well, now you can. You're going to be able to do that directly through the N Central interface with Device Manager for Apple. The important here, important part here is whether they are co uh, company or school-owned devices, you're still going to be able to, through those Apple Business Manager or Apple School Manager accounts, still be able to manage those that functionality directly through the N Central interface. One of the greatest challenges our partners face is being able to patch Apple devices. You know, not just Mac OS, but all Apple devices. So we are including five operating system update commands that you're going to be, be able to patch your Apple devices with. Um, the first one is going to be download and install that update depending on the current state of the device. This allows the device to choose which action to take uh, depending on whether the user is logged on or logged, up, logged out, for example. Uh, the second one is going to be download the, the, the particular OS update and then stage it on the particular device, okay? Number three is going to be download the latest software and trigger a restart countdown, okay? So in iOS and tvOS, this will uh, install a previously downloaded software. Uh, in macOS, uh, it will download the software update and trigger uh, the uh, restart countdown uh, through the notification center. Number four, download the software update and notify the user via the App Store. This is again only available in macOS. And number five, download and install the update and force a restart if required. Obviously the least desired option Please note this can result in data loss if the user is logged on. And again, that would be for Mac OS only. So as you can tell, this is going to be a really exciting time for Enable and our partners. We've got all the new uh, Intune configurations that are coming. We've got device management for Apple um, in terms of being able to push apps and all the new um, 
Apple devices that we're going to be able to support. We're also going to be able to do more with the enhanced integration for Cove Data Protection. So more on that. One thing I will tell you is my colleague, Eric Carlos, has been nice, nice enough to reinvent our monitoring for Cove Data Protection. We're all very excited about that. I've taken a look at it. It is going to be amazing. So these are all of those changes that are coming. Now, when you do upgrade to 23.7, and I do obviously encourage you to recognize that 23.7 as soon as you can, is that please ensure that when you do the upgrade that you're turning off the agent and probe upgrades first. You then do the upgrade. Of course, take, please take a backup. First and foremost, always have a backup ready. Um, then you do the upgrade and then you would then flip on the probe and agent upgrades. Anyways, my name is Jason Murphy, head nerd here at Enable. Um, thank you so much and we'll talk soon.